everything I do, every sermon I teach, every sacrifice I make is for her to know her inherent worth. I love her. God's done a lot of good things, but every time he looks down at you, he says the exact same thing. He goes, this is my crown jewel. This is my everything. This is the love of my life. This is everything. In Psalms 139, sorry, at verse 13, it says, For you formed my inner parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you. When it was made in secret, uh, intricately woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me. When as yet there was none of them. Before you were even here, he loved you more than you could ever imagine. He marked out every single thing, and he sits back and he goes, I'm just waiting for you. Uh, it's already marked out. When are you going to simply go for it? Like, when are you like, God, when are you going to use me? When, when are you just going to walk down the path I've already set for you? I'm so hard. Like, no, just walk. But you'll see that I'm going to be there every step of the way. See, man is so confused. Man, we spend so much time trying to look right, be right, act right. I got a ridiculously silly watch, so I think I'm cool. I grew my hair like a crazy old man. I just, I don't know what's wrong with me, right? I, I live in this world, right? I own more shoes than any human being should ever have. I literally have 42 hats. What is wrong with me? Why does any man need 42 hats? I have over 79 black t-shirts. Who has 79 black t-shirts? I had to count them one day because I was like, why are there so many t-shirts? I am a victim of the same society as everybody else. I try so hard to look good, to be good, to do all these things. And the reality is I'm, I'm messed up. Girls, you see that guy on the commercial walking by with like the ripped six pack? He's like... Like, oh. like, there's just something, right? Like, like, ooh, he's kind of Brad Pitt, you know? Like, that's awesome, or whatever, right? Guys, turn off the Carl's Jr. commercial because you know it's making you have up your thoughts once you've eaten that hamburger. But there's this society thing about us that we're just drawn to these things. And I'm telling you, look, guys, if you want to be shredded, stop being worried about this six pack and get a spiritual eight pack. Because that's what God's looking for in 1 Samuel 16, 7. It says, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord does not see as man sees. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. God is looking at your heart. You might be shredded and pretty, but you are spiritually fat. You are spiritually just You want to get a good woman of God? Worry about shredding up the spirit a little bit more than your body. Yeah, you want a good man? Right now. It makes you, this is so funny. I shouldn't say this. Okay, I'll Come on. Come on. Come on. Look, ladies, ladies, ladies. Yes. When you start owning <laughs> the fact that you are the image of God, you will stop letting little boys that know how to shave approach you the wrong way. Amen. Oh, what? Little boys that know how to shave come on that. Hey, girl, you're like, what? I'm a princess of the most high God. You better back up, son. And you're like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't get that. Like, oh, oh. Men, men, we sell ourselves out so cheap because we don't realize we are prince is of the king. Like we, why would we look? I know I've lowered myself in areas that are crazy. I look back on it, it's like I threw away my anointing just to go get too drunk. I threw away my anointing in women that didn't love me. I threw away my anointing in all these things because I was not focused on the image of God. I was focused on what the world said. And the minute I said, God, I'm going to stop and I'm going to focus on you, he went, perfect. I was waiting for that. Yeah. Here's the wife of your dreams. Here's the child of your dreams. Here's the life of your dreams. Here's the career of your dreams. I, look, Cody, you could have had it a lot sooner, but you kept doing it your way. I've already set it up for you. It was lined out. She was waiting. <sighs> God's got big things. Deuteronomy 28. <sighs> this is how you do it, guys. And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, be careful, being careful to do all the commandments that I commanded you today. The Lord your God will set you on, uh, will set you high above all the nations of the earth. 